What's going on guys? It's been a minute since I uploaded a video. So I'm pretty much uploading, I'm doing this video because I haven't done a video in over a week and a half, which I'm trying to stay consistent on uploading videos. I'm trying to do at least one a week. So, I mean, I'll just give you an update on pretty much what I'm doing and my project. Uh, the tin top project, I ended up doing a few changes to the front suspension setup. I pulled off the YJ springs, so I, I used the uh, Samurai rear springs, but I did them in a different configuration than what you normally see from like companies. So, I mean, I'll show you that in a bit. Some other things, I'm still waiting on parts to come in so I can finish all the charge pipe and all that stuff on the turbo. Um, I went to hook the alternator up. That It has a GM alternator on it. And the alternator isn't doing anything, so the alternator's bad, so I have to buy one of them. But anyways, I'll show you the suspension setup I've been working on. It's not done yet. It's a work in progress. So here's the front of it. I'm doing rear springs up front with shackle reversal. Um, I'm going to point out a few things. Um, they are so far down. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, there we go. The springs are so far down because of one... I wanted to get lift out of these springs and I had the springs up further. If you see, I made more holes because I was trying to get the, the height where I want it. So one, I moved the spring down because like I said, I wanted to get height out of these springs. They're stock springs, stock rear springs. So I had to get the height out of them. So I'm trying to keep it. I was trying to get the same lift out of like YJ springs, which it's kind of, it was, wasn't hard to achieve it's just these springs don't have arches like the yg springs do and then here's here's the back of the spring i mean i just threw a regular shackle in a shackle i had into the back my plan is to make plates kind of like my yg kit plates i'm gonna make plates that fit here and then i'm gonna have like different bolt hole locations so you can move the shackle, say like you can move the shackle probably like up here a little bit. So then it'll give you a more angle and I also plan on making this shackle a little longer. So then you'll it'll get more uh, flex. And depending on where you put the shackle angle, so say if you lean the shackle angle back like that, you're gonna have a lot more down travel because when the shackle goes down, the whole spring's gonna go down. So I still gotta do that yet. Um. And all the yeah, in the front, I forgot to show that. Here's the, I mean, I showed the view of it, but um, from this one to this one, I want to put like a bar to attach them so they don't kick in. Um, I used to have a uh, Cal Mini's shackle reversal kit on my, I think it was my second Samurai that I had. I bought it like that. It was all decked out in Cal Mini parts as in front and rear bumpers. The light, light mounts, uh, I think it had the five inch suspension lift. I think it had the three inch, four inch springs with the shackle reversal or whatever kit they have. I mean, the one, I mean, I'm not a Cal Mini fan or anything like that, but the one thing about that kit that I, one thing I liked about it, it drove really well. As far as ride quality, Ride quality sucked because the springs were so stiff, it just bounced all the time. Maybe that's why it dro drove so nice, like as in steering and handled and all that stuff because it didn't have any body roll. So, I don't know. I figured I'll try to do rear spring, rear springs up front. I'm trying to do something different. I mean, it's not really that different, but I mean, I've never seen a company out there that make a rear spring up front in a shackle reversal setup. So that's why I'm doing it. I mean, that's what I'm working on. Uh, I've been busy with doing orders, surprisingly. It's actually busy this time of year, which it usually never is. So, I mean, that's what I've been up to. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to work on your own stuff when you're cutting out parts, putting parts together, shipping parts. Uh, trying to find, like for instance, I run out of bolts all the time, I run out of U-bolts all the time, so I have to constantly order more U-bolts and bolts. And sometimes they don't have the bolts in stock, so I'm calling around trying to find them from other places. 
I don't know. Sometimes it can be a pain in the ass and it takes up all my time, but it is what it is. I mean, I love what I do, so I really can't complain about that. But sometimes people are in a rush and in a hurry and they don't understand that I go through all this BS to get stuff for them. So, I mean, it is what it is. But anyways, um, I mean, I can, I got the, I'll show you, I'll just show you some more of the engine bay and the Samurai, what I'm, what I'm trying to do to it yet. Um, I got the couplers, the silicon couplers. So I got all that stuff. I still need to do, still need to do, change this fitting down here. I want to do like, uh, maybe a 45 to come up. And then have it go into the bottom of the turbo instead of going around a steering column. Steering column, I guess you can call it. That's not the steering column. It's a steering bar that does the steering box. I just did it like that because it's what I had around my shop. Just get it running. So hoping I can get the charge pipe on it. Then I gotta take this alternator off. I'm not really sure if I want to stick with a GM alternator or if I just want to put like a regular sidekick one back in it or a tracker. I don't know. Not really a fan of the GM alternators, but supposedly they give you more output power for like running accessories as in light bars or winches, which yeah, I might have a winch bumper on it, but I don't think I'm going to run a winch maybe one day. Um, as a light bars, I really don't run light bars because there's nowhere to wheel at night around where I live. So it's kind of pointless to put on. Still got to mount the shocks on it. I still got to pull, I got to cut off the stock mounts on the front for the front shocks. I plan on cutting them off and doing my frame reinforcing plates. Um, I probably won't do that for a little bit because I'm not sure what kind of steering setup I want to do yet. As in, I want to do power steering. But I'm not sure if I want to use the sidekick box or I want to use a different box. I might not do um I might not do my shock towers because I'd like to do something a little different. So in my in my eyes it's different because I I don't know, I've built so many samurais, I use the parts that I have because it's already designed, it's already made, all I gotta do is put it together and weld it. So this one I might do like shock hoops because I have a bender and I really never use it. So I plan on doing shock cubes in the front with longer shocks, so I gotta figure all that stuff out yet. I mean, I wish I had more ideas on what to, what to film. Like I could show you my, uh, my chassis that I've been trying to work on, project. I can show you all my projects. I could do a, a shop walk around and show you all my shops together. I could do that. I don't know. I mean, is that something that people want to see? So I don't know what you guys want to see. I'm trying to be interesting, but I'm not really interesting. I just work on Samurais all the time and build them how I feel they should be built. And I'm trying to run my business and I don't know. I'm, I'm blabbing now. Blabbing, blabbing. Um, I pick, I picked these up. Um. I was looking for bushings to put in the rear springs. So I saw this kit on uh, Amazon. It's a uh, Daystar bushings. And on the, on the picture on Amazon, it has, it shows like four more of these sleeves. So total it come with six sleeves. Well here I, I get it and it only comes with two sleeves for the back of the springs which sucks because I needed this, the sleeves for these bushings, which these bushings are for stock shackles. So I tried to return it, they didn't want to return it, so I said screw it, and I just cut the ones out that I needed for the time being, and just threw them in the back spring so then I can get this project sitting on the ground again and get that all them get all that stuff mocked up when I was mocking it up to build the front part there. So, Another idea I had, I mean, it's not done yet. I mean, it might get a little higher once I put that shackle in the back. I'm trying to keep the caster right. So if I, if the front end doesn't come up any higher, as you can, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it kind of sits a little low on the front. So my plan is to re, 
I don't know, not redesign it, but do some changes on my rear YJ set, suspension setup so I can get it to come down a little bit. So my plan is to move that bolt hole, that bolt, maybe move it up and then back so I can get that shackle on more of an angle so the back end will come down a little bit. I mean, I know for a fact this thing isn't going to have much up travel because one, I don't want to really cut it out because it's in good shape and it's not rusted out. So it's kind of hard to cut a, cut a nice tin top up because here in Pennsylvania, they're all rotted out. So it's kind of hard to do that. I mean, I have another tin top that I'd like to do some more changes to because it's kind of set up like this one. So my plan was for that one is do maybe like Toyota axles on like 35s in like real low center of gravity and maybe do like coil springs or something on it. I don't know, man, just dreaming. I do that a lot. So, I mean, that's it for this video. Um, If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, subscribe. Um, it is, I mean, in two days, it's going to be Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all have a good Christmas. Um, have an awesome day. Have a good one.